Hello Google Workspace fans, it's James here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use document tabs inside Google Docs. It's a great way to make a big document shorter and make it easier for the viewer to find what they're looking for. As you can see, I've got a document open and down the left-hand side, just spot straight away, there's document tabs here. These document tabs are laid out to make it really easy for someone who's viewing this document to find what they're looking for by having a separate page for each of these individual bits of items that I've listed down the left-hand side. So for example, if I click on the client stories one, it'll go to a document page that has that information in there. Now to create a document tab and to add document tabs, you need to make sure you've got your Google Docs set up on pageless mode. To do this, click file, then click uh, page setup and then click pageless and click OK. Once you've done this, the document tab menu should open on the left hand side. To create a tab, all you have to do is hit the plus icon will automatically appear and you've got a whole blank page here that you can put, your, put the information in, all the pictures and the text that you want to in there related to this tab. Uh, to name the tab, all you have to do is double click on it, give it a name and then you can give it emoji of your choice. You can see here I've also got sub tabs. So to create a sub tab, all you have to do is click on the three little dots and click add sub tab. Again, you've got another blank page and if you just double uh, tap on there, you can give it a name and you can give it a emoji as well. Um, one other thing you can do with these tabs are if you click on the three little dots, you've got a couple of options. So you can delete a tab if you don't want it anymore. Um, you can duplicate a tab. So say you've got a tab and you quite like the layout you've done, you could hit duplicate, you get a copy of that tab and then you can just change it with the new uh, information and stuff that you want to stick in there. The other option is to rename and choose an emoji. And then you've got a copy link button. This is cool because if you hit copy link, and then I send that link to somebody, when they click on it, the Google Doc will open and it'll go straight to that tab that you've, um, whichever tab you've done the copy link from, will open on their screen so they can find what you're re re talking about, I guess, uh, far, far easier. Um, show outline won't do anything on this blank page, but it, what it does, it just on the left-hand side underneath the tab, it'll just give you the names of the headers that you've got on the, um, on the uh, document and subtitles and things like that. Um, you can move the doc, move the tabs around as well. So you can do it this way by clicking move up and move down, but that's a bit of a hassle. So just click and drag and just let go where you want it to be. It's far quicker than selecting move up and move down. Um, you do also have the option to move into, and so that will move this tab into one of these subsections. So if I click IT and assistance and support, you'll see that it's just jumped straight into there. So it's just another way of organizing these tabs. Um, but that's how you manage these tabs and how you create them. And they're really, really handy and really, really useful for making a big document shorter, easier and more concise and for the viewer to read and find what they're looking for. So give it a go. I think you'll like it.